Hey guys, JB Dolan here, and today we are going to be taking a look at a certain product that I never thought I'd actually be reviewing ever in my lifetime. Well... Yeah, you see it here. It's Hornby Thomas. Never really thought I'd be um, re reviewing this project. Um, we've also got um, two other Hornby items to look at after this. But still, you guys could just do it. Um, never really thought I'd ever own Hornby products. Never really thought I'd have I'd own Bachman products too. Um, that's a review for a different day, by the way. But. I think at this point, it's time to get into this. Roll the unboxing. And here's the beauty himself. I mean, just look at him. I get he doesn't have his little um vacuum hoses, and it really doesn't matter. But I mean, there's the tiny little package. Um, but here he is. Um, let's take a look at the box. Um, let's move Thomas just out of the way real quick. Let's take a look at the box. Box. Okay. So it's the it's the original Hornby boxes. It would have been nice if it was a newer one, uh, but still, and it, that is a newer Thomas, so it's a little confusing. Anyways, um, there's the Thomas and Friends logo, um, there's Gordon, there's Henry, James, Mavis, Percy, Thomas, Annie, Annie, that, uh, Edward, that, Gordon, Henry, James, Claire, Annie, that's Claire, though. Then went Gordon again. Um, other models that, yeah, yeah, as you see here, Gordon, James, Thomas, Percy, Duck, Toby, Duck's pretty rare, um, Toby, Bill, and Ben. We're on Britt Alfcroft Company Production, Thomas and Friends, Thomas and Friends accessory range with use for electric train sets. Um, there's the 3 Plus logo, Hit Entertainment logo, and the old style Thomas thing. Um, apparently this was pound 32.99. £32.99. Um, yeah. R351 Thomas. Yep. Alright, let's take a look at the E2 boy himself. Okay. So, there's what would seem to be this thing right here for a builder's plate, which has no printing. Um, cap has no back lining. It'd be nice if it did. It does have, it does have windows though. Um, underside. Just, uh, I believe this is the traditional Hornby motor. This is also track guards. Those, are, those track guards are weird. Oh, um, usually there's a lamp in this area, and then you can see the gap between Thomas's splashers, um, Thomas's whistle. All right, there. Shiny little things. Die cast, I believe. 
Thomas's entire thing is not diecast, but I do believe the whistles are. Um, there's the windows. Thomas is modified to have the windows he normally has. Dome. That cheeky smile we all have come to love. The fake dummy coupling. Um, front coupling. Buffers, you know. Modern gist of it. It's gonna be fun editing those face in Photoshop one day. Well, there's the model so far. I really come to like this model, and I've just only seen it for at least a, at least a couple hours. Man, this is gonna be good. Let's get Thomas down onto the tracks with a real layout. Thank you.